What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a very serious video about five things you have to do as a gaming YouTuber. Some of you might actually think that in order to become a gaming YouTuber, all you have to do is make a YouTube channel and start publishing videos about games. But in this, the world's shortest documentary, I'm here to tell you that it actually involves being invited by a shadowy cabal and forced to sign a contract that includes these very specific five things. So with no further ado, let's jump into those. Number one, you have to complain about playing video games all day. Sure, it might sound like a great, amazing time playing games for a living, but the catch is, if you tell everybody that, then everybody would want to become a gaming YouTuber because they love video games. So in order to stem the tide, you actually have to complain and tell them that your 40 to 50 hours of gaming every week is actually a terrible nightmare from which there is no escape. Sure, it might sound like an amazing time. What, relaxing, usually at home, playing video games? simply for the purpose of telling other people about said video games, oftentimes even possibly getting the video games for free. But in actuality, it is a terrible, awful time, and we are thus required to complain about this. Now, the second thing we're required to talk about is upcoming game videos. Now, sure, any reasonable person with the ability to perform a Google search or who cares about specific titles might already know about these games, as games receive typically very large public announcements about their release date, almost as if they're trying to get people to buy it. However, what I can only assume is the Illuminati trying to force more sales. We are actually required to make, usually about once a month, videos about upcoming games. Some YouTubers will try to rock the boat a little bit and tell you about PC games or a genre-specific type of game coming up. But one key factor remains. Tell people about games they are already probably well aware of. Third on the list. Announce your gamer tag loudly and usually at the start of every video, as if that is a completely normal thing to do and not a ridiculous name you almost entirely made up for yourself. Sure, I could tell you my actual name, which is Jesse, or I could express the fact that I am very edgy simply by telling you my gamer tag, Mortem, which is naturally Latin for death. Now the fourth thing we agree to in this contract is making our own personal game award videos. Now you might think the shadowy cabal controlled by the Illuminati might actually want you to promote the regular game awards and thus send more eyeballs to watch the probably very overpriced ads placed on the game awards in incredibly questionably ethical business arrangements between gaming media outlets and the show itself. But the key here is actually just making videos that use the word award over and over again to thus remind people that this more than likely meaningless overinflated opinion of what video games are best by simply using the word award might remind you that the game awards exist and are a thing. Now, for number five on our list, naturally the most closely guarded secret of these contracts. As a game release approaches, we often accept money to do sponsored videos or to simply attract viewers and thus inflate our own ad revenue. We have to tell you how amazing this upcoming game is and why you should check it out. But then, upon release and general reception of the game, regardless of how well it was received, in order to then continue to drum up views and thus ad revenue, we are required to react incredibly angrily, preferably with a thumbnail that shows a guy yelling, to express just how angry you are about this thing. Now, if the game is great, but the shadowy cabal has declared that it must nonetheless be talked angrily about, you can then just make up whatever minor inconvenience you want and then blow it entirely out of proportion. So, there you go everyone. The five things the shadowy cabal that's probably led by the Illuminati doesn't want you to know about being a gaming YouTuber. And, just in case you forgot that this was on YouTube, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as this video gaining enough attention from my analytics is the only way to save me from the impending disappearance caused by the publishing of this video. So thank you for watching, may you wander in wisdom, and have an amazing rest of your day.